The message was clear. Exercise every option you have before you begin talking about cuts. And our point is that that has not yet been done. The target? Legislators coming back to the Capitol for this year's fourth special session. All this time of these cuts, the access caseload is up 18 percent, food stamps are up 36 percent, unemployment is approaching 10 percent, and, and our policymakers and the governor are not listening. The goal, using new taxes as a way to close the state's budget gap. The ABC, the Arizona Budget Coalition, has outlined a set of options that make the cuts being discussed right now unnecessary. These options include borrowing against revenue streams that we have so that we can have some cash up front and pay it back over time. They include an assessment on health care providers that would allow us to draw down more federal funds. 44 states have such an assessment. Other suggestions include hiring back Department of Revenue staff to collect taxes already owed to the state, referring a sales tax increase to voters, and lobbying Congress for another stimulus package. Representative Tom Chabin said that with a two billion gap, there's no way around cuts. We've waited so far into the fiscal year, there is no way, there's no way to generate enough revenue without considering cuts.